Hi, thank you for joining me. My name is Margaret, and I'm excited to show you how to make a clinical face mask for our healthcare workers. The material we recommend for clinical face masks is different from what you might use to make a homemade cloth face mask. The clinical face masks are made of medical grade polypropylene mesh. You will need a sewing machine, strong thread such as polyester, scissors, and straight pins. Before you start sewing, ensure that you are symptom free. Wash and sanitize your hands and your work area thoroughly and make sure there are no potential contaminants such as pet hair or food in your work area. Here is what we'll be making. There are two variations depending on whether you have fabric strips or elastic strips in your kit. We will learn how to make both types in this video. Let's get started. Sew a seam across the bottom edge of the mask, stitching 1 4th inch from the edge. Flatten with your fingers. Do not use an iron. The bottom seam will now be hidden on the inside. Flatten the seam with your fingers. Don't use an iron as it could melt the fabric. Each main mask piece is notched to make it easy for you to form the pleats. Lay out the mask piece with the seamed edge toward you. Make the following folds through both layers of the mask. Make a fold along line one between the first notches. Place that folded edge along line three. This makes a downward facing pleat. Crease the folded edge with your hands so it lays flat. Pin in place. Make a fold along line four. Place that folded edge on line six. This makes another downward facing pleat. Crease the folded edge so it lays flat. Pin the pleat in place. There are two options for fabric ties or for ear loops, depending on what is in your particular kit. I will show you how to do each one. For fabric ties, you will use the long narrow strips in your kit. If you have fabric strips in your kit, you will need to secure the pleats first. If you have elastic strips in your kit, the method is a little different and I will explain that in a minute. To secure the pleats for fabric ties, first sew a seam down each side of the mask just inside the notched edges. The seam will be approximately a quarter inch from the edge. Next, we will make fabric ties. Fold the tie lengthwise. The tie will serve as a binding along the sides of the mask. Notice the small center notch in each tie. The notch should be placed about one inch below the top of the mask. Pin the tie in place along the side of the mask. There will be about one half inch of the tie showing on the front of the mask and the same on the back. Repeat with the other tie. Sew ties along the sides of the mask, stitching close to the unfolded edge of the tie. Turn the mask over to the back and stitch along the edge of the ties again. This will ensure the tie is well attached to the front and the back of the mask. The mask is complete. If you have elastic strips in your kit, here is how you complete the mask. Remember, you will have just pinned your pleats in the main mask piece. Insert one inch of an elastic strip into the top corner of the mask between the two layers of fabric. Angle the placement of the elastic strip so that it extends out from the mask diagonally. Pin in place. To form an ear loop, insert an inch of the loose end of the elastic into the bottom corner of the mask between the two layers. Angle the strip so that it extends out from the mask diagonally. Pin in place and stitch along the sides. One half inch from the edge. Make the seam wide enough to avoid stitching on the notches. Stitch again at corners to reinforce. Repeat to form the second ear loop. The mask is now complete. Finished masks should be clean and free from, from potential contaminants such as pet hair, food stains, etc. When you have finished sewing the face masks, place them in a clean bag and return them to the location where you received your materials kit. 
Thank you so much for helping us with this important project. We really are grateful for your help.